So, let's continue, and obtain what corresponds to the soil static load, and which is exerted over the retaining walls. And with that purpose in mind, we'll work first with this particular group of walls, or the ones on this area of the project. Although remember, that such type of load, should always be determined based upon an adequate geotechnical study. Now, in the second window, we should determine the soil composition, based upon a corresponding geotechnical study. I'll add a first layer, of elastic silts, and with a thickness of 10 meters. But let's move on, and perform a new calculation. And verify if there's not any type of error in our structure. Well, everything seems to be okay. Thus, we could go ahead and take a look at the result diagrams.